Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Hazel from Handcrafted Expressions. Today, as a design team member for the Robin Ness Creative, I will be designing a card using the canvas Pineapple Creative Dewdrop Canvas. And the wonderful dewdrops from Robin Ness Creative. Here I will be using the stamp for the sentiment. I have taken a card 5 by 7 and a background scrapbook paper with the canvas. First I will use the canvas and color accordingly using these three colors. They are the water brush pens. I will also be using the 13 Arts Color Glow. I will take the 13 Arts Color Glow first. And I will sprinkle a little over the canvas. And this is a dry brush which I'm using and I'm just spreading it over the pineapple to give it a little shine. And now I will dip my brush into the water and color it lightly. I am just giving a background shade to the pineapple base. Now I'll use the yellow watercolor water brush and I'll paint over it to give it a little shade. So you have a little light background on the base. And then I am coloring using a little darker shade on the I am on the pineapple and I'll give a shade using another dark yellow. I'll just spread the shade. Here again, I will just take a little orange yellow and give a shade between the squares.
you can give a little touch of green too to make it look little bit natural You have a mixture of three colors that is a little bit of dark yellow, green and the light yellow. Now I'll use the same green to give a shade on the leaves. First I will use the light shade. And then I will shade it with the dark green. Now I'll use the dark green and I'll give a little darker shade. Do not cover it entirely but you can just give a shading to it. You could also use a little bit of dark green which I am having on the outer surface. So you can just blend the shades all, to, all three together. I will just show you that. With the same green you could give a little bit of touch that is you could use this green to give a feel of on the pineapple very lightly. I am not at all pressing the brush on that. I am just very lightly giving a touch of green. And I am not covering the yellow. It's just a touch of green. Now I'll use my brush, wet brush and Just spread a little bit out since it's watercolor, a water brush pen. The color will spread very nicely with the wet brush. You could also use watercolors 
to do the same. Now we use the base and stick this over the base of the card, right? So first I will just distress the sides of the card of the uh, scrapbook paper. Here I will be taking the black ink and I will just distress the sides. I will do the same with the canvas. I'll just distress the sides. Very lightly. Right. Now I'll stick over the base and just clean this. This is the white base which I'm using. Now I will stick this over the white base and then stick the canvas over it. So very simple card today using the pineapple canvas. You could gift your kids to create their own cards. Now I have taken the same scrapbook sheet and I have cut a straight uh, this to just wrap over the pineapple. Here I have just given a slant since I am placing this in a very slant way. Now I'll stick it up here over the base. So first I will just stick this up using a little glue. And now I'll stick the base over, stick the canvas over the base. Right, but I'll just add a little bit of glue here so the and I'll stick the canvas now using the glue.
Now accordingly adjust the canvas to the center of your card. And press it down. I have also cut a white band. Now I have taken a die cut here and I'll stick over this to stamp my sentiment. So first I'll stamp my sentiment. I'll just stamp this out. It says celebrate new beginnings. And I'll stick this. Here over the band. Give a good press. Now we'll use I'm using this color dewdrop to decorate the pineapple. Using drops of glue, you can just Randomly place the dew drops. I will be taking two shades that is a yellow and brown. So I will stick alternate lines. different shades over the pineapple. Now we'll use the green one.
I'm just placing the dots of the glue and now I will stick the dew drops. Here we are done with the card. Now I will just give a black outline to the borders of my card. I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching do check the robin ness website for the lovely dewdrops and the canvas bye for now see you next time